Hey everybody, it's Mona. Just wanted to show you some of the things I worked on today. I kind of went a little craft happy. Um, this first one, it's a stamp image from CC Designs. It's heart Kiki. And I think she turned out really well. And then, the next one is uh, from the Greeting Farm. It's Hatter Bean. And she's so cute. I think she turned out well too. Then I'm still on the flower craze, so I made some shabby chic flowers and I put a cameo in there that I got in a rack. And I basically just made cones out of a square inch of lace and I just put all the cones in a circle and big ones on the outside and small ones on the inside. And they're just shaped like cones and that's how I did that. And I did the same thing for this one. You can see the cone shape a little bit better, I think. Um, used one type of lace for here and uh, the same this blue is so pretty so I wanted to use it and then this is a, a button that um, Lynn B made for me in our swap so there you go that's I'm holding it up far enough for you that's it and I'll show you to you like that y'all would laugh if you know what my tripod was it's a pill bottle alright my medication alright and here's the third one and I used this one and what I did is I made like a like a loop not a loop it's more like a it goes up and then I squeeze it together right here and then it ends it makes like a three can you see that it's kinda of looks like a three and I just layered them all the way around and then I made cones out of the top ones again using that pretty blue and I put another one of Lynn's flower tops on there so I did that and then the other day I didn't show this but I made pinwheels because it is about to become fall and these are I really like these these turned out good And then I made them in different sizes. Here's some small ones that would I think would be cute on um, cards. This one's really small. And then those were made out of um, this is just double-sided paper, okay, that we use. This I made out of washi tape. I cut out um, the square, and then I put one color washi on one side and another color on the other side, and. Um, I put a brad to secure it in the middle. See, there's the brad on the back. So that was hard. I'm going to tell you, that was a hard part to do. And then here's one with the French design. You see the Eiffel Tower right there. See, so there's the Eiffel Tower again. And then I did the same thing with these washi tapes. I did a button. And I didn't like the button. It took a lot of glue to make it stay. So I didn't like that. So that is my pinwheels. And then I wanted to start with fall because fall is so cute. So. I wanted to make some rustic pumpkins. Well, this looks more like an apple, <laughs> but um, it is, here, I'll go around and around a circle for you. Um, I kind of like the country look, the rustic look. And this is textured paper from that, um, what's the name of that paper? That paper is called the Homespun. Um, trying to get as much use out of that as I can. And they're fall colors. Um, and there's a little leaf, and it's got glitter. I don't know if you can see it or not. And then I just took a piece of trim and made it as the stem. So this really looked more apple shaped to me, but I really wanted it to be a pumpkin. So on the next one, it's more pumpkin. <laughs> I lopped off the top, see? Um, I kind of lopped off the bottom and I lopped off the top. And it made it more look like a pumpkin. And again, oops, um, put the a glittered leaf and just some trim to hold it so it holds like that. And it looks like a pumpkin. I just set these on my desk. And then finally, one a little bit more pumpkinish. This is, um, again, from the Homespun. It's that really pretty uh, burlap looking paper. Um, and so I'm just turning it around for you. Again, I put another tag on it, some burlap leaves, and some, um, you know, our flowers that come on the green stems. That's what I put on there as trundles. So there you go. I hope you like my crafty day. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you have a great weekend. Bye.